Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Saturday early evening episode of Ted's Boo Cellar with me your most gracious host Ted. It is currently 5.38 on the 20th of June 2020. Now today I'm in a very good mood because as many of you who are interested in sports may know the English Football Association decided to finish the Premier League and EFL Championship seasons by playing out the rest of the games and my team, Charlton Athletic, somehow won today, even though, you know, for the majority of the 2019-20 season we were, um, well, pretty rubbish to be honest. I mean, we did just get promoted so we're not very good, but no, we, um, we actually got a really good, very well hard fought win today against the mighty Hull City, so I'm in yeah, a very good mood and um, today we're taking a look at a beer I've had quite an interest in for at least a couple of weeks and I've been looking forward to doing for quite some time. Now, I got a Sainsbury's delivery recently and while they were, you know, egging me on to check out some of their special products while I was checking out, I did see this particular product and I thought, hmm, that could be a good episode of Ted's Booze Cellar. And it is Jubel Beer Cut with Peach, which is by... What is the name of this brewery? Actually, I think it might actually be Jubel. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that is it. Jubel Beer Cut with Peach Alpine. That's the name of the beer, or at least the writing on the front. Not sh really sure if Alpine or Jubel is the name of the brewery, I think. But anyway, someone will point that out to me in the comment section down below. Oh, it's, it is Jubel. Okay. So yeah, it is a beer cut with peach subtitled Alpine by Jubel. So yeah, no, this this should be quite good because I like concept beers or fruit flavoured beers if they're brewed properly and, you know, they don't have to necessarily have the most fragrant or jumpy flavour. Like, they just have to have a very simple flavour of like, two or three different flavours mixed together, brewed very simply and purely, and I'm hoping that's what's going to be the case here. Now, this isn't too strong. It's only four point. 0% ABV, so you're not going to knock your socks off too much if you have a few of these. It was 189 from the Sainsbury's Groceries Order website, so that's how much it was and how much I got it for. Pretty cheap and reasonable for a bottle of this size, I would say, so yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. First off, we'll just have a quick palate cleanser of water first, though. I would say that I quite like the colour scheme of the bottle. The mixture of orange and white against the dark orange bottle is quite interesting. It does make me think of a Jubel sort of aesthetic and I, I quite like that. I would say that it could be slightly sharper but no, still looks pretty handsome all the same. So yeah, 7.5 out of 10 for the bottle and the label. Very handsome looking. Quick palate cleanser of water. Mm. Marvellous. Now, where did I put my bottle opener? There it is. Right, so, let's give it a sniff then and hopefully give ourselves a good <coughs> first impression. So, what I'm hoping for is just a simple beer flavour with some light, fruity scents in it. So, let's see if that's the case. Oh, wow, that is literally just it. It's kind of like a sort of, it smells like a sort of like, kind of like a mild malty beer with just literally just peach juice in it. So, yeah, smells quite pleasant. Eight, no, nine out of ten for the smell, actually, I'd say. It smells really nice. Very fruit salad-y, actually. But, as always, we won't know what this is actually like until we taste it. So, bottoms up. Mmm. Mm, that's pretty good. Mmm. God, that is very interesting. Yeah, it literally just tastes like how it, how it smells. It is literally just a, a standard lager that's mixed with peach juice, essentially. Um, but honestly, like, that's a simple enough concept that would be pretty hard to get wrong, and fair enough, it's it's a competently brewed beer, it's nice enough, and I think it is well worth the price I paid for it, and I probably would actually go out of my way to get this again, actually, uh, yeah, 
it's probably not the nicest fruit beer I've ever had, but it's damn close. Like, easily amongst the top three or five fruit beers I've ever had. So, mm, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I definitely think that some of those, like, Belgian fruit beers, like the Apple Lambic beers or the Clerc, um cherry beers, I do think those are generally a little bit better than this, but... Um, yeah, for what it is, this is pretty damn good. It's a what I do like is the fact that they have just kept the concept very simple. It is literally just beer cut with peach, and that's it. They don't try to do anything other than that. And while on one hand, I do like a bit of adventurism and just weird flavors sometimes. I also like stuff that is just keeps to what it knows and what it knows to do well. And clearly, Jubel have pulled a rabbit out of the hat here by creating something that's a bit out of left field but is simple enough that pretty much most if not all beer drinkers can enjoy I would say anyway so yeah oh, very nice I probably wouldn't say it's a meal drink but it's it's good enough to have in pretty much every other circumstance so yeah I would actually really recommend this it's well worth the price of 189 and I'm definitely going to get a few for myself the next time I get a Sainsbury's delivery so yeah very very well well met Jubel I would give this give it an 8 point I'm going to give it an 8.75 out of 10 they, I do just think that Belgian fruit beers are slightly nicer but and there's this like weird like maltiness in this that I'm not massively a big fan of but still, 8.75 out of 10 is a massively successful rating, I think. So, well done, Jabel. You guys have done a solid on this one. And, yeah, if you guys did like this video, or at least found it somewhat informative, leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you want to check out any of my other shenanigans, I'll leave the links to my social medias and other YouTube channels in the video description below. And if you've got any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boozilla, leave your suggestions in the comments section below, and I'll check those out. But... Until next time, I hope you guys are having a good weekend, I hope you're all safe and sound and you're not too bad in the sticks, and I will see you guys next time at the bar on the next episode of Ted's Booster. Bye bye for now.